Right, so loads of new sports cars at the Geneva Motor Show. This is our top five. Now we might use that uh, term sports cars a bit loosely as we go on, but um, you'll see what I mean in a minute. We'll start with this. It's the new Renault Alpine A110. Now, just fight my way through here. Seems like we've been waiting for this thing for absolutely ages. In fact, it's only been five years and a failed marriage with Caterham since we saw the first concept of this and well it's very very pretty isn't it um you've got the dual headlights at the front like its namesake it's compact it's small it's mid-engined um the numbers on this thing are really impressive so you've got a 1.8 litre turbocharged engine about 250 horsepower um and the best thing about it which is demonstrated over here is it's lightweight it weighs just over a ton thanks to the aluminium body which uh, alpine have handily stripped down for us here and that means it's seriously quick 0 to 60 in 4.5 seconds which means it's about a tenth quicker than a porsche cayman s and that's that's the salient point here isn't it this is going up against the mighty porsche cayman um, it's a bit of an open door really because the Porsche has now got the new flat four turbocharged engine hasn't been that well received this has a similar spec but just seems a bit fresher seems a bit cooler the problem if I'm honest is going to be price um, this which looks absolutely lovely this is the color you got to get by the way um, is the launch edition so it's got all the bits on it um, all the toys and it's going to cost about 50 grand which is a lot of money for this car what they need to do is to sell it for about 35 or 40 and then it's a direct comparison with the Cayman ultimately it's going to come down to how this thing drives but at this point very excited indeed right so fight your way through fight your way through it's a new Bentley. This one, if I can remember the name, is called the EXP12 Speed 6 E. Um, it is, on the face of it, a development of the EXP10, which we saw in 2015, but without a roof. Um, and I have to say, in the flesh, it looks absolutely stunning. It's, it's proof that Bentley is definitely got their heart set on making a proper two-seater sports car. It's really low, it's really wide. Um, that interior, well, kind of looks like a cow that's been turned inside out, but um, I like it. Um, lots of digital touches in there, really slim centre console, which we're told has a digital butler within it. But the story behind this car runs a little deeper. If you look at the wheels and the brake calipers, you'll see that it's got bits of copper all over it. Now that's alluding to the fact that this car is actually all electric no v8 no w12s this is bentley saying that its customers are potentially ready to plug their cars in rather than guzzle fuel um, we're all for the idea but it's not going to happen anytime soon probably five years at least until the world's ready for an all-electric bentley but there are bits that make sense right now so as the turntable comes around you'll see those incredible crystal cut front headlights yeah so those are going to be on the next continental gt whether the rest of it will ever see the light of day we'll have to wait and see quite want one of those Okay, right, tucked away in the corner of Audi's stand, this is the new Audi RS5, their BMW M4 rival, and um, well, it looks lovely, doesn't it? It looks absolutely beautiful, but the story here is the fact that the V8 is gone. This is now a V6, 2.9 litre twin turbo V6, 444 horsepower, many, many torques. Of course, this is an RS model, it's going to be seriously quick, 0-60. 3.9 seconds 175 miles an hour top speed um, 
The funny thing about this car is it hasn't caused much noise at the Geneva Motor Show and gone a bit under the radar. If this was a new M4, this place would be crawling with journalists um, and attention. And for that reason, this is my dark horse for 2017. Okay, so what are we up to now? Uh, I think that's three, three out of five, so two left. Um, and both of them are coming from the sportiest of sports car manufacturers, which is Porsche. And the first isn't really a sports car at all, but it is a Porsche, so we're gonna let this one slide. Um, it'll get a better look over here. This is the new Porsche Panamera Sport Turismo, or the car for dog owners that want a Porsche. Um, we saw a uh, concept car of this back in 2012, and now it's a reality. The proposition is super simple, which is why I love it. Um, it's a Panamera with a slightly bigger boot. But if you look at the profile, we're not talking E-Class wagon here. I have to say, whatever it is, I want one of these seriously badly. Um, and the one you have to go for, of course, same engines as the normal Panamera, is the 550 horsepower turbo version. That's mandatory. And last, but by no means least, this is the new 911 GT3, the 991.2 GT3, um, if you like. The big story here is you can now have a six-speed manual gearbox, which is quite annoying um, if you just bought a 911R for about four million quid. But this is Porsche saying, we realize the drivers don't necessarily want to go around the track ever faster they want more interaction and more feeling and we approve definitely um, it's also got a new engine a new whole new engine um, 3.8 liters gone this is now a four liter that's um, a direct descendant of the, uh, the the racing car engine that you get in the 911 rsr so 493 horsepower um, much speed uh, this thing well, we know the story with GT cars. They don't make a duffer. They haven't for a long time, and this thing's just going to be absolutely sensational. In fact, I'm going to go and find out when we can drive it. 